Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 version 20H2. This is a feature update number 10 available for Windows 10 after the original release and let's just say it's a minor update that only enhances the work that Microsoft made available with the May 2020 update. So you can think about this new version as a service pack. In fact, it is so small the devices already running the May 2020 update will receive this new version as a cumulative update through Windows Update and it won't require full reinstallation. So you don't need to use the media creation tool or the update assistant to upgrade. However, you can still use those tools, but they will perform a full reinstallation of the operating system, which you don't need. If you're coming from the November 2019 update or an older release, then the upgrade process won't change. The download will take longer and full reinstallation will take place no matter the tool you use. Before we move on, remember to check the video description section to get updated information about the release date and the steps on how to get this new feature update. So now let's take a look at the new changes. The Windows 10 version 20H2 now includes an updated version of the start menu with a streamlined design that removes the solid color backplates behind the icons in the all apps list and applies a partial transparency background on the tiles, which actually matches the menu color scheme that should help to make it easier to scan and find the apps quickly. The new design works with the light or dark mode included on Windows 10. However, if you want to use a different color, you first have to enable the dark mode and then select the color that you want. Let me show you. So now this is how the start menu looks like using the dark mode. And then if we want to use a different color, we just enable this option and then we select the color that we want. And this is how the start menu looks with a custom color. Using the user and device signals, Windows 10 can now offer a more personalized layout, cleaner and less cluttered taskbar experience for new accounts. So this only means that you will see only relevant apps pinned to the taskbar. For instance, if you link your Android phone, you will see that your app pinned in the taskbar. If you have an Xbox Live account, then you will see the Xbox app pinned to the taskbar. The experience is only available for new account creations and first login scenarios. Microsoft is not planning to alter the taskbar layout for existing accounts. With version 20H2, you will also find an updated advanced display settings page that now includes the option to change the monitor refresh rate right from within the settings app. Previously, you have to use control panel experience to change this setting. The about settings page now allows you to copy the device information to the clipboard and it also removes the window security status from this page, which means that if you want to see that information, you actually need to open Windows security. Also, starting with Windows 10 version 20H2, links that will open the system page in control panel will now direct you to the about page in settings. Also, starting with this feature update, the new tablet experience that was introduced with the May 2020 update is now the new default mode when detaching the keyboard on compatible devices. This means that you will no longer see notification asking you to select a mode. On Windows 10 version 20H2, the Chromium version of Microsoft Edge now comes built into the operating system and open tabs will now show up when you use the Alt tab keyboard shortcut. As you can see, when you use the shortcut, you can see that we have all the tabs showing in the app switcher. If you prefer to see a different number of tabs in the Alt tab, shortcut you need to change the setting on the multitasking page where you will see a new all plus tab setting where you will be able to choose different options 
including the ability to see all the open tabs only the most recent five the most recent three or just to go back to the original settings which was only to show open windows Finally, in this feature update, you're also going to see some changes for notifications, including a new icon on the top to understand the app that generated the alert. And now the system will turn off the focus assist notifications and summary toast by default to avoid unwanted distractions. If you want to revert the changes, you can always go to the settings app and on system focus assist, you can check the option to, to see a summary notification. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 version 20H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.